hello, my name's Josh. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, know me by Spiky Drummer. Uh, I'm going to start a series of lesson videos, so anyways, I hope these help you out, and uh, yeah, have fun. Okay. Okay, anyways, so we're going to start our first lesson out uh, working on things called accents and ghost notes. These are very important throughout your playing in life. They will enrich you and further you forever and ever. So, anyways, uh, here you have an accent. It's a hard hit. It means it's accented. And uh, it can be done on the snare, tom, anywhere. Cymbals. Accent is a hard hit. It's accented amongst the rest. Um, the rest of them, however, uh, in our case, are going to be ghost notes. Ghost notes, or unaccented notes, are quiet. So you have the difference between accents and ghost notes being that one is softer, um, less loud, and an accent is loud. Um, the way we're going to practice these, and these will help you out because um, they're definitely, definitely relevant. They are definitely relevant in your beats. Uh, it gives you um, instead of having like a straightforward. Um, think of it as if you have like a. Uh, a, a random salad of different sorts of things uh, like soft notes and, and hard notes and very simple um, so basically the way to practice this and the way that we're going to do this is to um, play one hard hit or an accent and then follow that with two more ac uh, two more ghost notes just like that so like that. That's how you practice for them. It's a very swift movement. Your hand goes down and up. Uh, a lot of times your whole arm is going to try to um, make each note specific. Work from your wrists. Anybody that uh, if you go take lessons from somebody or you watch professional drummers, they don't move their hands all around all over the place. Even though like, you know, your big drummers like Travis Barker, which I personally am not a big fan of. Um, you know, it's really accented, but in reality, they can do the same thing and better had they just sat here and uh, just played very quickly uh, without a whole lot of movement in their arms at all, just their wrists. Um, if you want proof of this, check out this drummer named Derek Roddy. Uh, D-E-R-E-K-R-O-D-D-Y. Um, this guy is nuts, and uh, you won't think about Travis Barker again after you've watched him play. So, <clears throat> anyways, let's get back to our accents. Accenting. Hard hit, soft hit. And here's how you practice for them. Remember the swift movement, moving from the wrists. Okay, now that you have that down pat, then we're going to work on a thing called paradiddles. Paradiddles use the same kind of uh, accents and ghost notes, um, but the basic movements are right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. That's how you're going to work in paradiddles. And anyways, <clears throat> this is what you're going to do. Your accent begins on the right, and then you have a ghost note left and two ghost note rights, and then an accented left, two ghost note rights, and a ghost note left. It's a bit easier if I show you. <clears throat> Uh, each set of ghost notes with an accent and then your three ghost notes and then it's kind of like tossing it back and forth if you pretend like you're tossing it back and forth between your right and left hands and remember that the accent notes are up by my head and they're they're really powerful and the ghost notes are down here by the snare just kind of pretend like you have a little thread between the snare and your uh, uh, your stick and you can't break it so you got little ghost notes. Now the uh, the accent notes, you're uh, you're going viking on your snare, so pretty pretty thick stuff. So anyways, <clears throat> as you practice this pair a little, it'll get really boring. Continue to practice it. Continue to work with it because eventually it'll get quicker. Incorporate it into 
other things like around the set. Doesn't sound that exciting, but I promise you it gives you practice with accents and ghost notes and it will help you out in the future. Okay, so let's just make this a little bit more fun and we'll add it to a beat. So I'm, all I'm going to do is just cross my hands over like I would normally playing a drum set. And we're going to do the same thing, only I'm going to add a bass on one and three. Now if you know how to count drums, that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very simple, the very first beat that you ever learn when you're playing drums. So we're going to add that along with our paradiddle uh, on the hi-hat and snares if we were playing a normal drum beat. So here we go. Still keeping the accents. Okay, so um, while you're doing that, remember, keep those accents, and uh, the drum beat can actually sound pretty cool when uh, you've learned it. It's pretty, uh, pretty basic right now, but uh, when you've learned it and it's gotten quicker, it'll sound pretty cool, and it's kind of a cool little break beat uh, for uh, some, I don't know, funk playing or whatever, but anyways, uh, here we go. said it's not very exciting however it will help you out in the long run but anyways that was our first little lesson video uh, i'm gonna have more to come and uh hopefully it will help you out and you will learn and uh if you have any questions just feel free to email me i'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions and uh keep watching for more videos i'm more than glad to help and i'm going to be posting more for beginner and idiot intermediate drummers so uh thanks for watching and uh again i'm spiky drummer and uh it's been great to help out, and uh, yeah, see you later.